This video contains mature subject matter with themes and imagery that some viewers may find frightening. Viewer discretion is advised. If you've ever been to Woodstock, you might have driven by this building and wondered what it used to be. Now it houses the Woodstock site of Southwestern Public Health, but originally it was used as a county jail. It was built in 1854 and housed prisoners until the province closed the jail in 1977. The prisoners were then transferred to the Elgin Middlesex Detention Centre in London. The county jail was home to all manner of prisoners. Some people who were arrested for minor crimes such as theft or vacancy, or more serious crimes like murder. Five of these people who were convicted with murder were hanged here on the property. The jail's dark past is matched by its dark, almost gothic-esque architectural details. It is a beautiful building with Romanesque aspects, but also menacing at the same time, which was common for jails in this period. One of the more well-known criminals who were housed here at the jail was Thomas Cook. Thomas Cook was a 45-year-old blind laborer. He was convicted with the murder of his wife in 1862 after she was found dead on July 22nd of that year. He was convicted primarily based on witness testimony, which was not uncommon at that time. Cook and his wife Bridget were overheard arguing by neighbours the night before, so he became the primary suspect in her murder. He was eventually executed by hanging on December 16th, 1862, with over a crowd of 4,000 people came out to watch. It might seem morbid to us today that people would watch a person being hanged, but it was actually a common form of entertainment in the time period. Cook's hanging was the first and last public hanging the county held. During his hanging, he was accidentally beheaded as he was quite a large man for the time, around six feet tall, and the scaffolding and the rope had not been set up properly. Much to the horror of the crowd who came to watch, his head actually rolled off the scaffolding and into the crowd. After the hanging, his body was sold to a local physician who would use it for study and experimentation. After he was done with the body, he buried it in the backyard of the clinic. The body was not found again until 1903, and it was reburied. However, after the body was discovered, some strange things started happening at the jail and in the other buildings located in the county courthouse square. People started hearing strange noises who worked in the jail. Objects began moving on their own, and people started to see strange sightings. Rumor has it that it's actually Thomas Cook's body that is in search for its head. After the execution, Cook's head was collected, and a death mask was made of his likeness. It was mounted at the entry to the jail, where you can still see it today. The death mask was meant to act as a warning to passers-by, that if you committed a crime, you could end up like Mr. Cook. A number of other convicted murderers were imprisoned and hanged here at the jail. One such person was Reginald Birchall, a wealthy British young man who's actually an infamous international con man. He was convicted with the murder of Frederick Benwell, a young, also British, son of an aristocrat. He was lured to Woodstock by Mr. Birchall under false pretenses of investing in a local farm. One morning in 1890, Benwell's body was found in Blenheim Swamp, shot twice in the back of the head. With evidence piling against him, Reginald Birchall became the primary suspect. Detective John Wilson Murray, who was a very well-known and critically acclaimed detective from Toronto at the time, was called in for the special investigation. He is actually the inspiration for William Murdoch of Murdoch Mysteries. After a number of witness testimonies and evidence was collected against Reginald Birchall, he was convicted for the murder of Frederick Benwell. He was hanged here in 1890 at the jail. And fortunately for him, his neck did not break as it was supposed to, and he strangled to death for several minutes. His body was buried in the jail yard. Elizabeth, or Lizzie Tilford, as she was better known, was the first woman and only woman to be hanged in Oxford County in 1935. She was charged and convicted with the murder of her husband, Tyrell Tilford, after he mysteriously died after a prolonged illness. Her 
previous husband also died mysteriously after a long illness, so the odds were stacked against her. An autopsy was performed on her husband Tyrell's body after his death. It was found that he had arsenic in his system, a strange circumstance, of course. It was also found that Lizzie had recently checked on the amount of his life insurance policy before his death. Everything was piling up. With all this evidence against her, she was executed for the murder of her husband. After her execution, her house was searched, and a jar of mustard pickles found in her cellar contained the arsenic she had used to kill her husband. Those are just a few of the stories of the dangerous criminals who are housed here at the Oxford County Jail, and there are many more stories to be discovered.